considering the C8 hasn't been on the road for very long, I didn't expect to already be making another video about its problems. But GM recently announced the first official recall because of the new Corvette Frunk. Corvette Frunk. Corvette Frunk. <laughs> And it's probably not about the issue you're thinking. I'll tell you all about the recall and how it'll get fixed. Let's get into it. I made a video a few weeks ago about the other design and engineering issues that have come up with the C8. If you want to know all about them and the Frunk's opening problem, then make sure to head over to that one after this video is over. This new recall was because the C8 Frunk is non-compliant with S4.1 of the Federal Canada Motor Vehicle Safety Standard Number 401. As you probably know, cars are required by law to have glow-in-the-dark trunk releases so that if anyone ever gets stuck in the trunk, they can find the release and easily get out. Well, the new C8 goes into a low power sleep mode about 10 minutes after being shut off. And when this happens, the button apparently might not wake the car back up enough to activate the frunk release. This means that if anybody was ever in the frunk at that point, they wouldn't be able to get out. Now, maybe you're wondering why anybody would ever be in the frunk at that point. Who knows? Why the hell is this kid on top of a Jenga set? Sometimes kids, or little people, as GM says, just do dumb stuff. It is what it is. It is. Putting the two frunk problems together kind of turns this car into a serial killer though. Picture this, you're driving along all cool, after all, you're in the new C8. All of a sudden, boom, frunk flies open. Now you don't see the pedestrian crossing the crosswalk in front of you. You hit the pedestrian's leg because the car's low, because race car. They fall into the frunk, you slam the brakes because you can't see. Since you hit the brakes so hard, the frunk slams down shut, then you continue driving without checking anything because you're discombobulated from getting frunk slapped. You get home and go inside. The person regains consciousness 10 minutes and 5 seconds after you get home. The car is now in sleep mode. Boom. Murder. It turns out the fix will be pretty simple actually. The solution seems to be lowering the required voltage for the switch. Most owners won't even have to go to their local dealer in order to get it fixed and can get over the air updates. However, those who opted out of these updates will have to go to a dealership to get it fixed. I was originally curious if this update would come out with the one to stop the frunks from opening on their own, but apparently Chevy implied that that would be separate. It's unsure how this problem was discovered or how many cars were affected by missing this, but it's a quick fix. Although it's definitely a safety hazard, I feel like this is one of the less severe issues that have been found. Out of the problems we've seen, I'd say the build quality issues dampen things the worst because that has to do with the amount of care put into building it and quality checks done before it leaves the site. Other than that, some of the engineering issues like this one shouldn't affect anything because every new car involves a learning process. You never know how the car will really function in everyday use until you have hundreds or thousands of people using them. Real quick before you check out my other C8 Flaws video, let me know in the comments what you you think of the problems that have been coming up with the C8. As always, if you enjoyed this video, tap that like button and subscribe to Liberty Drives for American Auto News, Do it. as well as my take on the good, the bad, and the funny parts of being a car enthusiast. I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.